and we kick things off with the defending champs, and those champs are the Wagner Bulldogs, and their head coach is Dale Condict. He joins us now on the OK Preps Roundup, powered by Excel Therapy. Coach, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. Doing great. Obviously, the cool off. Yeah, obviously it's a good time to be a Wagner Bulldog right now as you head into yet another season as uh, the proverbial favorite to win yet another state championship. Uh, Expectation-wise, it remains the same. They're just as high as they were last year. How do you handle that from from day to day and week to week as you open up practice with these kids? You know, I I think we've kind of learned to embrace it. I I think if you ever uh, get to the pinnacle of what you're – you're doing and you really want to achieve high then that's just going to be part of it and so uh, you know I don't think that we feel any added pressure we're we're going going by it one day at a time we'll go by it one game at a time and you know we feel like uh, if uh, we can stay injury free and focused and we'll have a chance to 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 do this thing again Let's talk about the running back position. Obviously made a little headlines off season wise with uh, Scotty Patton leaving. Now he's back. Chris Walker transferring from Fort Gibson. Tell, tell us, uh, update us on the uh, eligibility uh, concerns with those guys. Is Patton going to be able to play? Is Walker eligible? What, what's going to be the situation at running back? Well, those are, <laughs> there's some, I guess, unique situations, but um you know, Scotty Patton, I, I don't believe, ever wanted to uh, to leave Wagner. There was just situations beyond his control that, um, you know, with budget cuts here that caused his dad to be out of employment. So they right. looked for employment elsewhere. Things didn't work out. And so uh, he's back here, and uh, we already have, have received approval from the OSSA on his eligibility status here. He's, um, you know, he's maintained the residence he's in. And so as long as they're in the same residence and he's uh, been been participating here and has not participated anywhere else yet. So uh, he's approved to play and has looked great in uh, preseason drills. And, um, you know, with, with Chris Walker, there's, <laughs> I think, lots of rumors. Um, he has uh, not been uh, participating with us in, in football. And I'll, I'll just kind of, I think, uh, for all parties involved, I'll, I'll just kind of leave it at that right now. Okay. And, uh, you know, in addition to those guys, there's a wealth of talent on this team. You know, guys like Malcolm Rodriguez coming back at the quarterback and at the safety position, uh, also Nakia Jones, K.J. Lee. K.J. has been a guy who I've absolutely loved since his freshman year. Uh, you know, when I saw him in his second-ever varsity game, he's been dominant over the last couple of years. What have you seen from that group? Let's start with the seniors, with, with Malcolm and K.J. What have you seen from them this off season, spring ball back in May, and then so far this week at practice? You know, they're seniors now, and this is their last go-around with this team. What have you seen from them as far as leadership-wise? <clears throat> oh, both of them are tremendous leaders. Um, and they start by their work ethic. Uh, they've had tremendous summers uh you know they're the guys that are always going to be at summer pride they're going to be at all the things they ought to be at and when they get there they work hard they they uh believe it or not they're bigger and stronger than ever and uh, it's really uh impressive the the position they've put themselves in as far as having their bodies ready to to take on another season uh malcolm's up to 190 200 pounds and uh, he bench pressed, I think, 335 pounds the other day. That's not bad for a quarterback. Jeez. And so, uh, you know, KJ, I think he, in, at his physical weight, 243 pounds. And I think he uh, may be quicker now than he's ever been. So uh, we definitely expect big things from them, and, and they deserve that. And then uh, let's talk about Nakia Jones. He returns for his junior year, burst onto the scene as a freshman, uh, helping that team win uh, the first of two consecutive state titles. What what can he do to, to elevate his game and get a little better as he heads into year number three in this program? I think the typical things that you see that young receivers need to work on, route running, um, you know, giving great effort when he's not necessarily the ball's not coming your way or you're not going to be involved in a play. Uh, just overall uh, work ethic, practice habits, you know, the typical things I think you see with young players. He he definitely improved on those things from his freshman to sophomore year. Now we're expecting him to do the same uh, as he goes into his junior season. But uh, definitely has had, you know, through our seven-on-seven seven in summer and here in the preseason has had some moments where uh, we have seen uh, definitely some improvement. And 
uh, high expectations for him going into the season. Of course, he's got to operate an entire season without A.J. Freeth on the other side of the field, so there will be added pressure to him, I think, in the way people uh, do their coverages and things like that against him. And now we'll get you out of here on this. Generally, I ask coaches, you know, what, what's it going to take to to get to the state championship to win it all? But with Wagner this year, expectations are so high that anything less than a state title would be uh, a tremendous upset with all the guys that you have coming back, all the expectations coming into this year. So let me ask you a different question as we get you out of here. What could possibly trip up the Bulldogs from making it back to the state title game and winning another goal ball? Golly, as I'm answering this question, I'm knocking on wood. But, uh, you know, I think a couple things definitely come to mind, and, and we've all seen this happen, and that's number one's injury. And uh, probably that might be the most frustrating part of coaching for me is, is you have you really don't have a whole lot of control over that. So, uh, you know, obviously we can do some things through practice and that kind of thing to maybe limit ourselves to putting, the, putting ourselves in danger of getting injured. But, it's part of the game of football, and it just seems like it's blind luck on how it, how it comes at you and it comes at you in waves. So um, we had you know bad in, two bad injuries last year with Patrick Curley early and then A.J. Freeth uh, late, and we're a, able to overcome those. So uh, we hope to overcome, you know, not, not to have any injuries. And, and I think just, uh, you know, staying humble and don't, don't uh, get in our own way. Um, right. You know, don't get too full of ourselves and, and read too much into the publications that say that, uh, you know, this thing's already ours because there's uh, 31 other teams and there's several of those that are that are working really hard to try to knock us off. And uh, the longer the longer this goes, the harder it'll get uh, well, for us to continue to step up there and beat those really good teams. Well, that's pretty much what I said during the last segment. It, it, it's pretty much Wagner. So hopefully your players aren't watching the program this morning because that's pretty much what I said in the last segment. Although we'd love to see some Wagner uh, guys uh, watching the show. But last last segment, yeah. I, I did definitely throw that out there. Coach, it's always a pleasure catching up with you. Congratulations on another uh, state title a year ago. Uh, looking forward to uh, catching up with you later on this season uh, as uh, you open up in, in September. Yeah, I can't wait. And this this zero week's got us excited a little earlier. Uh, we're not playing that week, but we'll definitely find a game to go watch. So uh, it's fun. It's here, and uh, can't wait to get started. Absolutely, Coach. I appreciate your time. That's Wagner head coach Dale Condict joining us here on the OK Preps Roundup, powered by Excel Therapy.